Hello friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Sashank Anand from RIMT University and today in this housekeeping module, we will be learning about supervision in housekeeping. After the end of this module, you should be able to understand the role of supervisors in housekeeping operations, learn about various supervisory posts in housekeeping, understand the functions of supervisors and learn the art of complaint handling. So let's get started. First up, the housekeeping or the executive housekeeper rather lies heavily on his or her supervisors in the daily tasks of the housekeeping department. Supervisors are largely responsible for training the semi-skilled and unskilled workforce. Good supervision leads to efficient housekeeping using the correct cleaning agents, equipment and procedures. Supervisors are expected to possess a thorough knowledge, up-to-date practical knowledge of cleaning methods, equipment and agents to guide the junior staff members. Housekeeping supervisor works on one-on-one -on -one with team members to ensure guest rooms, lobbies and all public areas constantly receive rigorous and thorough cleaning. The supervisor knows his or her employees and encourages them to step up their work ethic when it lags, voice an opinion or observation about other employees and departments. While the supervisor may help with cleaning, recruitment and training of employees, the supervisor's significant role comes in maintaining a professional, helpful and content housekeeping. The supervisory level in the housekeeping department includes the assistant housekeeper, floor supervisor, public area supervisor, linen room supervisor and so on. Let's talk about the role of housekeeping supervisors. Role of housekeeping supervisors is not just restricted to overseeing the routine operations. In this part of the module, we will see the various roles of supervisor plays in the day-to-day -day running of housekeeping department. Number one is link between managerial and lower level. Although all the meetings, various briefings are called on by the managers for the staff, the actual link between the upper and the lower organization structure are the supervisors. They get the work done as per the requirements of the upper management and also apprise the lower management of the standards or, or and the procedures being followed by the department. At the end of the day, supervisors have the responsibility of getting the work done by the lower management for the upper management in the most efficient manner. Next is compliance with the budget. Supervisors come in the aid of the executive housekeeper while managing money or budget allocated to the housekeeping department. The budget is usually prepared by the, house, by the executive housekeeper with assistance of other managers and supervisors. However, the enormous task of implementing the budget in the routine affairs of the department lies on the shoulders of the supervisors. They have to ensure cleaning agents are being used with proper dilution. Used, they are used only on the surfaces they are meant to be used and are not wasted. They train the staff on how to operate the cleaning equipment in a correct manner so as to avoid damaging the expensive equipment. They constantly develop and monitor the cleaning procedures to keep the housekeeping performance at the highest level yet being cost efficient. So let's see what are the main roles. Number one role is establishment of standards. Supervisors are responsible for the training of the cleaning staff in a manner that establishes standards desired and set by the upper management. They also maintain the records for the housekeeping department and ensure that the staff under their supervision follows the established code of conduct, work ethics and disciplines. Supervisors are directly liable for any shortcomings or failures in meeting the standards set by the executive housekeeper. Next is representative of the staff. 
Supervisors in the supervisory roles automatically become representatives of the staff members working under them. Efficient supervisors recognize their team members individually as unique human beings, empathize with them, motivate and train them to perform better and to ensure the safety of their team while performing the tedious tasks of operations. An effective housekeeper properly delegates responsibilities to his or her team members without overloading some members. He she also communicates the feelings of the staff with the upper management whenever necessary. Lastly, anticipate guest needs. A supervisor also strives to constantly anticipate the needs and expectations of the hotel guests. They have to look things from the guest perspective to provide proactive service. Only a highly motivated staff can provide proactive service to their guests, which is again the responsibility of the supervisors. So let's study the various supervisory positions that are there in the housekeeping department. The department usually has seven supervisory posts allocated at different areas for smooth operations. In this part of the module, we will, we will explain and study about the various positions and their specific duties and responsibilities. So let's start with the first floor supervisor. The floor supervisor reports to the assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper depending upon the organizational structure being followed. They are responsible for the final conditioning or condition of the guest rooms on the floor allocated to them. Usually, a floor supervisor handles three or more floors. They assign rooms to guest room attendants along with floor master key, which is to be returned at the end of the shift. Some duties and responsibilities of floor supervisor include issuing floor keys to guest room attendants, supervise cleaning procedures for on allocated floors and areas, which includes guest rooms, room corridors, staircases and floor pantries. Then is inspection of rooms cleaned by the attendants, supervise handling of soil linen to laundry and requisitioning fresh linen, reporting the maintenance work which is required on the floor, supervising uh, spring cleaning activities, coordination with food and beverage department for tray clearance from rooms and corridors keeping power stock levels maintained on their respective floors, facilitating provision of extra services to guests such as babysitters, hot water bottles and other special guest requests. They also report any safety or potential security hazard to the security department. They also check for guests with scanty baggage, prepare housekeeping reports, coordinate with front office department to update room status like dirty to inspected, dirty to clean and so on. They also ensure services provided to the VIPs are of the highest standards. Next up is public area supervisor. The public area supervisor reports again to the assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper depending upon the organizational structure being followed. They are responsible for cleaning and inspection of the front of the house areas such as the hotel entrance, lobby, restaurants, bar and so on. Most of the public area cleaning happens during the night. Hence, there needs to be proper coordination between night area supervisor and the night shift supervisor. Hotel nowadays outsource contract staff for managing the public areas, although the supervisor might be a hotel employee. Let's study some of the duties and responsibilities. Public area supervisor ensures that all public spaces and other functional areas are kept sparkling at all times. They coordinate with the maintenance department for all maintenance activity required in the public areas. They schedule special cleaning tasks for public areas. They ensure proper placement of all flower arrangements in public areas. They make sure the banquet halls, conference halls and meeting rooms are kept ready for show rounds, functions, conferences, etc. 
Next is night shift supervisor. The night shift supervisor reports again to the housekeeping supervisor or the executive housekeeper. He supervises all night staff appointed in the cleaning of public areas in hotel. The night shift staff may be outsourced. Some of the duties and responsibilities of night shift supervisor include ensuring thorough cleaning of public areas during the night since the traffic is generally low. A proper plan of work order and appoint staff accordingly. Ensure proper submission and filing of room attendance reports and room status reports. Attending guest requests like extra beds, towels, water bottles in the night and provide guest supplies. They also check and report all safety and security hazards to the security department. Next is linen room supervisor or simply linen keeper. The linen room supervisor reports to the laundry manager or the executive housekeeper depending upon the organizational structure being followed. He or she supervises the operations of linen room and usually has many linen attendants to assist in providing clean and presentable linen to all the areas of hotel. Linen room attendants work under the linen room supervisor. Some duties and responsibilities include they are responsible for entire hotel linen. They check each piece of dirty linen before sending them to the laundry. They check the laundered linen for quality before giving it for pressing or ironing. They ensure that neat, clean and iron linen is provided to various departments. They maintain linen, uh, they maintain linen register and track the movement of linen in and out of the linen room on a regular basis. They supervise ironing and laundering operations. They supervise linen repair and mending work done by the tailors. They make appropriate suggestions relating to the replacement, purchases and give requirements of linen to the executive housekeeper. They also keep a track of all guest laundry. Next is uniform room supervisor. Next is uniform room supervisor. The uniform room supervisor reports to the assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper or may even report to the laundry manager. He or she is responsible for maintenance of hotel staff uniforms and thus all the duties and responsibilities are related to uniforms. They are responsible for providing clean, ironed and serviceable uniforms to the staff. They keep a check on the uniform inventory at various stages of its usage. They allocate budget for procurement of uniforms and related materials. Let's talk about housekeeping control desk supervisor now. The control desk supervisor reports to the assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper depending upon the organizational structure being followed. Control desk is the nerve center of all housekeeping operations and is managed 24 hours a day. It is a hub for information distribution, inter and intra departmental communication and following contingency proceedings. The control desk supervisor is a critical position in housekeeping operations. Let's have a discussion on their duties and responsibilities. First is they coordinate with other departments, especially front office for information on departure rooms and, handing or, and handling of clean rooms. They receive complaints on maintenance and housekeeping and ensure a quick resolution. They maintain documents and registers kept at the control desk. The supervisor also receives special guest requests. He maintains updated reports on room occupancy, VIP status of rooms, etc. Allocation of work to attendants and supervisors is also done by the control desk supervisor. Prompt answering of calls at the control desk is also their responsibility. They are also responsible for issuing guest room keys and maintenance of key register. Next is the laundry supervisor. A laundry supervisor reports directly to the laundry manager. He or she is in charge of the laundry operations in the absence of a laundry manager. He must possess thorough knowledge of all the aspects of laundry equipment, 
chemicals and fabrics. Let's talk about some specific functions of supervisors. In this section, we will elaborate on some of the more specific functions carried out by the housekeeping supervisors in the housekeeping department. Number one is guest room inspection. In a planned and systematic manner, guest rooms are checked for cleanliness, maintenance and accordingly approved for occupancy by supervisors. The supervisors inspect guest rooms considering their last look will be the guest's first look. The supervisor's eye for detail helps to identify anything that is not as per the established standards before the guest finds them amiss. A supervisor follows systematic process to inspect guest rooms such that all rooms are inspected timely. The inspection of bedroom and bathrooms is carried out in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction from high to low levels starting with articles on or against the wall. The floor and ceiling are checked after this. Then a final look around the room is imperative to put things in their places. The inspection list. It is important tool in ensuring all cleaning areas are inspected and nothing has been skipped. The inspection checklist itemizes all surfaces, articles and lays down standards of cleanliness to be achieved at various areas. It allows supervisors to record any observation and indicate checks. The more detailed the inspection checklist, the more in-depth is the inspection. Next is inspection of VIP rooms. VIP rooms require special attention and mistakes caused, if any, can be very costly. Assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper bestow this responsibility on the shoulders of supervisors and are also involved themselves. Along with regular checkups, thorough inspections are conducted for bedspreads, lampshades and pictures on the walls. There should be no foul odour in the room and it should smell fresh. White ragging is conducted on different surfaces. White ragging is done to check the cleanliness of a surface by wiping a white rag across it to understand the degree of soiling it has. Next is inspection criteria for commonly neglected areas. Certain areas get neglected during the regular day-to-day -day cleaning operations. Supervisors develop a separate checklist to incorporate these neglected areas in the routine inspection checklist. These areas are often referred to as the dirty dozen. It includes areas such as air conditioning vents, tops of picture frames, area behind the toilet bowl, cisterns and pipes, faucet filters, surface below the lamps, accessories on the tables, so on and so forth. Let us understand the job description of a housekeeping supervisor. In this section, we try to understand who does the housekeeping supervisor report to, what is the position summary, what are the duties and responsibilities. The floor supervisor reports to the assistant housekeeper or the executive housekeeper. The position summary is such that the supervisors will be responsible for maintaining specific areas. Like in the case of floor supervisor, he maintains the guest rooms. Public supervisor maintains the public areas and so on. Supervisors, uh, especially the floor supervisor, is responsible for supervising room attendants to deliver an exceptional guest satisfaction and experience. On time to time basis, supervisor is also required to assist the executive housekeeper in various activities. Let's have a look at the duties and responsibilities of a floor supervisor in a job description format. They are responsible for smooth operations on the designated floor. They have to supervise guest room attendance. They need to organize and facilitate the room cleaning process. They need to allocate rooms and deep cleaning tasks to team members. They are responsible for the cleanliness of heart of the house area of the floor. They check occupied and departure rooms, paying special attention to guest needs. 
they ensure that the entire operation is performed as per the established standards. They need to organize immediately the guest needs under intimation to the executive housekeeper. They manage guest requests including VIP amenities and communicating them to the relevant team members. Routine inspection of guest bedrooms to ensure they meet standards. They need to be aware of all room categories and amenities. They need to achieve positive outcomes from guest queries in a timely and efficient manner. Supervisors need to carry out lost and found procedures and also report maintenance issues to maintenance department or the engineering department. They also need to assist the housekeeping manager with training department, with training requirements. They also represent the needs of the team to others in the hotel. Supervisors also comply with hotel security, fire regulations and all health and safety legislation. They assist other departments wherever necessary and maintain good working relationships. Some of the prerequisites of a floor supervisor can include providing a friendly, courteous and professional service at all times, good communication skills, reading, writing skills and basic computer operating skills. The education qual educational qualification of a, of a supervisor includes graduation in hotel management, and a supervisor generally has an experience of two to three years in a proven working role at an upscale organization. Next section, we talk about the guest complaint handling. A guest often expresses dissatisfaction with certain situations or services at the hotel. There are guests who are very considerate and have subtle way of complaining, while there are others who would simply go all out when displeased with something. Irrespective of the reason of complaint, a complaint needs to be handled with proper care to safeguard the hotel reputation and brand image. Hotels often associate jargons like handle with care with guests who are frequent complainers. Let's understand some of the types of guest complaints. Number one is technical complaints. complaints occurring due to malfunctioning of certain hotel equipment are termed as technical complaints. These include faults with the air conditioning, elevators, television sets and the likes. Second is service related complaints. Complaints arising due to lack of improper service or when improper value of money has been given. Examples include delay in service of food, food not cooked as per the guest preference, billing errors and so on. Third is attitudinal complaints, complaints related to staff behavior towards the guest. These include perceived staff rude behavior, guest overhearing employees conversation about the guests and so on. Lastly, unusual complaints. These are odd complaints that, ni that neither have a particular reason nor a particular solution. These originate from the whims and fancies of guests. For example, a guest complaining about the location of the hotel, size of rooms, absence of swimming pool and so on. So how do we handle the guest complaints? The housekeeping supervisor has to be very diplomatic and tactful while handling various complaints of guests. There are certain guidelines that can be adhered while dealing with guest complaints. Always listen to guest complaints attentively and show empathy towards the guest. If possible, isolate the guest to other guests to avoid other guests getting involved or overhearing the conversation. Never try to win an argument with the guest. You might win the guest but lose a regular customer. Always stay calm and diplomatic. Avoid responding with hostility. Never hurt the guest's self-esteem. Use guest's name to address him and give him your undivided attention. Never pass the blame on your team members. Own up to the mistake and offer a quick solution. Always offer alternate choices to fix the problem. However, never promise something beyond your authority or something impossible. 
set a time frame to fix the problem, monitor the progress, follow up on the problem, follow up with the guest to ensure that the guest is satisfied. Finally, you should report the incident, measures taken and the conclusion. With this we have covered all the contents of this module, now it's time to have a quick look back. The executive housekeeper relies heavily on his supervisors in the daily tasks of the housekeeping department. Supervisors are largely responsible for training the semi-skilled and unskilled workforce. Good supervision will lead to efficient housekeeping using the correct cleaning agents, equipment and procedures. The supervisory level in the housekeeping department includes the assistant housekeeper, floor supervisor, public area supervisor, linen room supervisor and so on. The role of housekeeping supervisor is not just restricted to overseeing the routine operations. In this module we studied at the various roles a supervisor plays in the day to day running of housekeeping department. It includes link between managerial and the lower level, compliance with the budget, establishment of standards, representative of the staff, anticipating guest need and so on. Next we discussed the duties and responsibilities of each supervisory post. The specific functions of supervisors were also discussed. We also discussed a sample job description chart for a floor supervisor which highlighted his duties, educational qualification, experience criteria and more for the position of the housekeeping supervisor. Finally, we concluded this module by discussing various types of guest complaints and how they should be handled without causing harm to the hotel or the brand image. That's it for this section of the module, hopefully this was helpful, thank you.